Hey YouTube, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. Uh, I'm going to start doing some uh, short little videos here, hopefully short, on my uh, backup power system here. Um, uh, I won't go over all this stuff, but uh, I'll just start off with the uh, components here and uh, maybe go over the whole system in general at some point. But uh, really, to, to get started with backup power, uh, to me, uh, the easiest way to do it is to... Uh, install uh, the first items I've, I've, I put in here and which are these generator transfer switches. Uh, I got one here and I got another one here and they're both uh, six switches each so they're each switch powers one circuit in your house that you're already powering with your uh, breaker box so you just uh, first of all you gotta go through and uh, label your breaker box and find out which circuit is which and so you can know which one to power. Uh, so that's a good thing to do uh, that you can do free uh, beforehand before you even start anything like this. So uh, it's always good to understand which circuits in your house po uh, power what, what stuff. So uh, something I would recommend first, definitely. But uh, beyond that, <clears throat> what I've done here is uh, I've installed a couple of generator transfer switches that's what they're called and normally people install these uh, probably just one of these really and then they either have a plug outlet here that they can plug in a generator cord that then the cord goes to a uh, generator sitting outside and usually people put these in their garages maybe if the breaker box is in your garage but uh, I'm using these to power uh, uh, some circuits when I want to from my backup power system here that's uh, charged with solar. Uh, <clears throat> I use my inverter charger here, and I'll talk about that later, uh, to power these circuits instead of a generator. So these things don't know the difference, but uh, they're pretty handy for it because they're all UL listed. Um, they, they come with all the hardware to connect them up, they're, they're pretty easy to install uh, for the DIYer. Um, and uh, so, so what, what I did is I, I, I knew what I wanted, but I found these on eBay used. Uh, so you can get them for maybe half or a third of the cost if you, if you find it, if you, if you look around a little bit. And so I just, uh, I bought one and then that, that I, that I found out, uh, well I want to power some more stuff, so I bought another one. and so. These are all 120 volt circuits. I don't have any 240 set up because my inverter doesn't do 240, uh, which is fine. You can power a lot of stuff with 120 still. But uh, if you want to do 240 with some of these, uh, this this one over here came with a little uh, bracket here. You just uh, attach to two of these switches because uh, two of these switches together would equal 240, 120 plus or 120 times two. Anyway, so. <clears throat> the, the first thing that I would recommend getting started with is uh, these generator transfer switches because uh, you don't need all this other fancy stuff uh, installed yet. Um, if you just get these, uh, one of these installed, uh, you, can, you can then have a portable generator on hand and when you need power and the power goes out, you just turn your generator, uh, plug it in here and then start turning on your switches here that are connected to the circuits that you want in your breaker box and, and these just tie into your circuits here you don't have to do you have to do some wiring work in here but it's it's not hard uh, not hard at all and and uh when you buy these these come with installation manuals if it doesn't you can look it up online and find it there and and they've got very good instructions on how to do it very easy so <clears throat> and what these uh what these are, these are just uh, three-way switches in here. Uh, there's a, if you can see it here, there's a, <clears throat> see if I can get the camera here. There's a generator position, an off position, and a utility or line position. So right now, most of these switches are on utility or line. So they're being powered by the grid. Uh, if I were to flip it in the middle, uh, it'd be off. There'd be no power going to that circuit at all. 
Uh, if I go all the way up like this one is, this is my sump pump. I usually have that one on, on uh, backup power. Uh, so that if the power goes out, it's still got power no matter what. Um, it's on generator power, which means it's being powered by my inverter if it ever needs to run. And um, yeah, there you go. So I can just start flipping these on and and uh, and I start power stuff. So this one is our fridge in the kitchen. So I'm gonna flip that up and you can see my loads here will go up. You'll see this this uh, power number, this watts number go up if I flip it up, at least if it's on. There you go. I went about 100 watts, so it's powering the fridge now, uh, which is pretty cool. And then if I wanna take it off, I just flip it off. Now it's back on grid power. So um, <clears throat> this is more of a manual process than uh, you may see some other folks set up. Some other folks set up a whole separate breaker box that they then, then have for their loads um, that they want to choose uh, to power with, but um, requires a lot more work and um, uh, that's more for uh, systems like these that are designed for a whole house. This is not really designed for a whole house. It's, it's designed for to power lots of stuff in, in our house, but not everything. Um, so you, you don't have to go full tilt everything in the house. You can just start off small and I've just kind of built on this system. So um, again, generator transfer switches, uh, pretty easy to install. Um, you can find them brand new if you want, or you can find them used on eBay or other places. Honestly, I would, I would go for used if you, uh, these things, they hardly wear out. They're just some switches in there and, and some fuses. And, uh, you know, usually electrical stuff lasts for quite a long time uh, and stays, you know, in, in almost new condition. So that's why I went used on that. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, uh, generator transfer switches. Uh, if you want to get started, not doing all this fancy stuff, you can just either have, it, have the plug here. They come with the plug usually. Or you, uh, they, 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 you can run the plug up to a, a box that you can uh, put outside uh, on the exterior of your house and then you plug your generator into that exterior box. Uh, so no, not too many components, pretty simple. Hope that makes sense and that's uh, how I started my system and uh, there'll be more come. Bye for now. One thing I wanted to add on generator transfer switches here is that um, you can get these boxes with a single switch so if you just want to uh, power one circuit in your house and that's it that's all you're worried about you can buy these as just one switch you don't have to buy a box of six uh, you can also buy these with boxes of 10 switches um, you can buy them a box of 10 switches and instead of fuses or these these uh, push fuses here you can get them with actual breakers like you get in your breaker box um, so there's all sorts of options that you can uh, look at there but uh, check it out and uh, some I'd recommend that's uh, simple to install.